guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look. It is using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. It's been so highly requested to do my favorite look with this palette and this is pretty much it. Um, it's very similar to the look I did in my No Mirror Makeup Challenge, but obviously much better because I had a mirror and I really, really love it. Very warm and summery and fresh. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then let's just, you know, get started. So I've already primed my eyes and I've applied some eyeshadow to set down that primer. And I'm gonna go straight into the Sweet Peach Palette. And the first color I'm gonna take is Georgia. It's a really pretty peachy pink color and I'm taking this on a fluffy blending brush. Applying this into my crease, I'm using this color as my transition shade so all the colors can kind of blend seamlessly. I'm sorry, this is like out of focus here. But I'm taking the brown shade in the palette. This is called Puree. It's a very, very warm, peachy, uh, orangey brown. I love it. So I'm just packing this on the outer corners and dragging it into my crease. I'm gonna take the shadow Luscious. Well, I like to call it Luscious. So I'm taking the Luscious color and I'm applying this on my entire lid using a flat shader brush. I want this color everywhere. Like I want it all to be shimmery. And then I'm gonna take Summer Yum and I'm going to buff that on the outer corners and drag that into my crease as well. The same thing I did with Puree, only adding a little bit more depth and warmth. Then I took a brush that was a little bit more dense. This one is from Coastal Scents. It's just like a flat shader brush. And I'm packing that Summer Yum color on the outer corners and then slowly dragging it into the crease. I wanted a more precise brush to apply more product. And then I just took Georgia to blend all that out. To highlight underneath my brow bone, I just took the white shade in the palette. My eyebrows are on fire, I need to get them done. And then I just took Luscious again and applied some more just in case some of it got blended away. And now I'm mixing Luscious with the white shade and I'm applying that in my inner corners. Okay, so starting on my face, I'm taking the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer and then I'm going in with my Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation. I'm applying this foundation with my Pure Sponge. I have been loving this foundation. It gives you really good coverage and it just looks really nice on the skin. Like, it lasts a long time. I'm totally into it. Loving it. So I'm just applying that on my entire face. I'm speeding through this part because you've seen it a million times. Now I'm taking my Lasting Perfection Concealer by the brand Collection. I got this concealer on Amazon. I've gotten a lot of questions where I got it. I got it on Amazon because I'm pretty sure we cannot get this in the States. So I found it on Amazon. And I'm just blending that in with my sponge once again. Now I'm gonna set down that concealer. I'm using my NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Loose Powder. And I'm just gonna set my under eye concealer with this. This is actually a really great powder. It doesn't look powdery on my dry skin and it was insanely affordable. Pretty good, I'm gonna say. Pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna finish off my eyes. I'm gonna take my uh, NYX Brown Eyeliner, my Trojoli Eyeliner in brown, and I'm gonna tight line and add that to my waterline as well. Then I'm gonna take Summer Yum, and on a pencil brush, I'm just gonna buff that on my lower lash line. And then this is the part where it got really frustrating. For some reason, I could not do a wing today. Like. Oh my gosh, I'm using the Ardency in Punker Eyeliner in black and okay, yeah. I'm totally out of the frame here. This is usually what ends up happening when I try to do some liquid liner. I don't notice, I'm out of the frame. I was so frustrated because it didn't turn out so good. But I took my Jordana Best Lash Extreme, applied that to my um, lashes, and then I went in with some Ardell Falsies. These are these soft touch falsies and then that completes the eyes. Had a little bit of trouble, trouble. had a little bit of trouble with that wing, but we survived. So now I'm going in with this NARS Duo. It's the Hot Sand and Laguna Duo. So I'm just taking the Laguna Bronzer on this MAC brush. It's like a flat paddle brush. And I'm kind of contouring and bronzing the skin at the same time. This bronzer can do both. I feel like it can contour, but bronze you up very well. I really, really, really love this bronzer. So I'm just bronzing up the skin. Now I'm going in with blush. This is the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush in the shade Sparkling Bellini. I'm kind of focusing my brush on the top two shades, not so much like the dark pink. And I'm just popping that on the cheeks. It gives you a really pretty orangey pinky glow. 
And for highlight, I'm just gonna take the hot sand highlight that's in this duo. I'm applying this with my Morphe M310 brush. It's a nice little fan brush. And then I apply some setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild setting spray. And I popped that on my entire face and then went in with my highlight again just to intensify it. Doing this little trick really does intensify your highlight. It's amazing. And then I went in with a different brush to highlight my nose. I don't know why. I don't know, but I did. So yes. And to finish off the look, I'm going in with my lip color. This is Fancy by ColourPop, but I didn't want something so intense. I wanted like a milky version of a coral. So I just blended that out with my finger and then I went in with this Tarte lip gloss in the shade Hella and just put that on top and blended that in. And I really like how it looked. It's like a glossy pinky coral, but it's a little bit more natural. And that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my May Boxy Charm Box. I'm sorry this video is going up later in the month. I actually got my Boxy Charm yesterday.